No 100 Thieves game. Day 2. Listing 100 Thieves mistakes will be... Watch day 2. Alright, if the game's bad, we'll just stop and then we'll go watch... We'll go play auto chess. This, this one against G GGS. The Lucian. Ezreal Brahm. First day if I want to be mad. Who do they play the first day? Oh, that's the one that was, there was a throw, right? Zoe against Victor. I guess that's the matchup. I don't know. What a weird matchup. It's like a scaling matchup. So basically, like, if you look at it right now, Golden Guardians picked a priority bot lane, but I think that's fine. Then Hunted Thieves also pick. So they pick two scaling lanes right now. Like, their, their counter pick for mid is also a scaling one. And then they pick Ribbon. That's fine. I get, eh. And then they pick Scaling Jungler, too. So basically they have four Scaling Champions and then just this random-ass Riven pick. The fuck is this draft? Did they blind pick Zach? Oh, they blind pick Zach, too. What the fuck? Yuck. Well, I don't like 100 Thieves Draft at all. It's way too much scaling. Especially if you're gonna blind pick Zach. Like, generally when you pick Zach, you pick him into Sejuani, because both of those are like weak early game junglers. But you don't, you don't blind pick the Zach. All right, so let's look at the early jungle pathing. So he does, I would Raptor Red. I think Raptor Red's fine, but eh, actually, I don't like Raptor Red. I think that he should have started Wolves and then done the blue Gromp combo where you do them together instantly. And then also like your bot lane can get pressure early because Alistar is weak as shit. It's a 50-50 prior lane. And they also have vision on bot side. So then you can go for that bot scuttle if you want to go for that bot scuttle. If you don't want to go for the bot scuttle, you can actually path in, get raptors, get level 3, and do a quick gank on top if you want to do that. <clears throat> but instead he does... The, he does the top side and then paths into the non-volatile lane. Seems awkward. Like, I feel like Rise is super gankable. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like you can get his flash, like, really easy. Then he goes and buys. He gets raptors. Does he contest him off of this? Okay. But who gets this? Okay, Zach actually gets this. Hmm. Oh, he actually contests the wolves. This is a hypey contest, man, because... Victor's in base, they have no top priority, and he just goes in and goes to these wolves. What the fuck? I'm amazed he actually gets out here. That was some ballsy shit right there, man. Huh. Okay. And then he's top. So he actually does, like, control top side. Not the worst. I guess his pathing does actually work out fine. Hmm. Wait, is he actually gonna get this scuttle? Because Rise hasn't Rise is dead. Up, greeted his TP actually. Does he have enough money? And Zoe's controlling Vision on the wrong side, or hugging the wrong side. 
I don't like this. I don't like that Zack is able to get this scuttle. Zoe should be hugging left side, and then Rai should have not greeted his TP here. Zack should never get this scuttle, not in a million years. This is just bad jungle pathing by contracts. So they basically they give the scuttle. What does he get out of it? His he just did he gets nothing out of it. Hmm. Oh, they get dragon, but that's only because of the bot prio. And because Zach is greeting his jungle pathing. Because like they have mid prio here too. Eh. Okay. Actually, mid has no mana too. This is actually a good dragon look, but I don't think this has anything to do with Gragas' jungle pathing. This is more like Zach greeting his pathing, and then also like Victor greeting his base timing. You can see like he knows. So like you look mid, who he knows that Zoe has gone back to buy. Like how much mana did he? Yeah, he had no mana, right? So he knows that Zoe went back to buy during this timing. Who he should have based, and then like been back mid at the exact same time as Zoe, but because he didn't actually get back to mid in the proper time. They actually just lose like dragon because of that. Wait, who is like actually really bad? This is actually such a fucking bad mistake by who he. And then Zach like, yeah, I mean it's fine. They can't bite bottom because it's like tier versus bilge. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like look at look at who he and his mana and like how how stuck he is in mid lane right now. He ends up not losing too much CS, but just like the way that the game flow plays out is just like not right because of like that timing. Was he greeting out his uh, upgrade or something? Does he get upgrade? I think he was greeting his upgrade actually. I mean that's how you have to play Victor sometimes because what is it like twelve hundred gold for the upgrade? I don't know. Hmm. That's fine. If he was greeting for the upgrade and he needed, did he buy anything else besides the upgrade? So he just bought the upgrade, right? Yeah, he only bought the upgrade. Yep. If he just had enough money for the upgrade, then that's a fine play. But they do lo end up losing Infernal Drake because of it as well. So it's just it's just a trade off. Because that upgrade is actually really expensive and hard to get sometimes. <clears throat> okay, so... I mean... Oh yeah, this play right here. This is a good look, good game to look for. Wait, did he... He gets the clap. Wait, he has no flash. Wait, how did he fuck this up? Wait, he should have shot this further back. So when you're angling this jump is Zach, you want to aim it to like back here, like to where the rise's only option is, is to go forward. Then what you can do is you can guarantee that you get the clap. Like you can hit him with a key or knock him in, or you can ultimate and pull them back either way. But be when he, um, when he aims it this way, where he's like aiming it directly on top of him, then Rise actually gets the option of like running downward, when his his only way he should be able to run is upward. So this is like a very poorly performed gank by Honda, and he blew his flash on top of that. Yuck. And now their bot lane gets fucked up because of that as well. Ugh. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay. Huh. I don't think that. Hmm. I don't know. That it, I don't think Ezreal and Braum should be getting this pressure, should they? I guess it's because uh, Zach showed top. Yeah, the moment Zach shows top, this is actually a good engage by Ole. Ole is actually pretty nasty at engaging sometimes. See, so look like he did instead of just doing the the combo. So he flash headbutt to make sure that Ezreal couldn't come, um, couldn't, 
Oh, that's actually really good. So he did flash headbutt to make sure that Ezreal couldn't E or uh, flash that. That was actually really well set up by him. It's, like, really good at, um, that he committed to summoners for that. If he had just, like, tried to flash, like, combo, then I think that Ezreal would probably just live there, and then, like, nothing would happen. So that was actually really well played by Ole in that situation. Chasing the rise around. Your boy is dead. Ah! Sunday pretty much just chaos is this shit if you look at it. Did he even have to flash there? Can he just ulti here? Why did he flash here? Wait, this is actually a misplay by. Can he just ulti here and he just dies? Like how does how does Hunter live here? It said he wastes his flash. That was like a complete waste of a flash, but okay. I see. But it ends up okay. They do get the kill, and they get Herald, and they get top turret. So it ends up okay. Zoe heal to run out of Victor. Did he have heal up? He did have heal up. Did he have heal up? Yeah, he did have heal up. He could have healed him. I mean... Froggen didn't heal him anyway, so let's be real. He didn't heal him there, so... Alright. Because he could have healed him for the movement speed there, too, and maybe Rise would live. But Froggen didn't want to heal him, I guess. So, uh... I mean, this game's pretty much like looking at 100 Thieves comp is they need to 4 1. And then Zach just keep camping the shit out of this rise. Okay. Wait, did he even get an assist on that? No, I didn't even get an assist on that kill. <laughs> Good. He didn't even get an assist on that kill. Good one, Anda. They got the blue, though. Uh, okay. I mean, they're like punishing. Wait, what is this dive? I'll start diving, Victor, because they know they just made the play top. They also know that Ezreal's not there as well. This is a good dive. Riven doesn't have ultimate, so he like can't really punish that hard. So end up losing two for one off of that. It's not. It's not horrible. Like I. I think it's fine to look for that dive. It's okay. Ooh, he got solo killed, did he? No, he didn't. Motherfucker got towered over like a motherfucker. That is definitely not solo killed. Oh, you mean before or earlier? Oh, he was trying to flex on him. Wait. <laughs> All right. Yo, man, it would have been hype if the victor actually had flash, but Froggen's from Europe, so, you know, English isn't his native language. So he probably didn't communicate that he didn't have flash. Rewind for Froggen solo killing Huey. We don't need to see that. He probably just bubbled him and killed him. All right, so they're just gonna get Dragon off of that probably, right? They have Zoe, they have all this poke. I mean, what? so how can they engage? They don't have Flash ulti from Braum. Basically, to engage, they need a Riven flank or they need Braum counter engage or Zach to go in, right? I don't like, uh, so I don't like Riven's position here. He should be like, Riven should be sitting over this wall or like coming in from behind. Wait, where's, uh, yeah, why is Someday here? I don't think Someday should be here. Like, Someday should be positioning to come behind them like this. Or he should be trying to prep his Q to come over the wall here. But by being in this cluster here, he's, like, actually not positioning properly as Riven.
I actually think they could have started this fight. So, like, imagine if when they were walking into here. So, like, I think they should have played this slow, and Riven should have, like, been walking around through here, or he should have queued over the wall and been ready to go. But instead, like, you can see somebody walks back into them. And then he starts trying to help them kill the dragon like this. Even somebody could be in this position. Like, if they can get a position where they can go on the clump as they come in, it's really great for them. Whoops. Yeah, so, like, look at this cluster right here. See this cluster? Like... Imagine if Riven is waiting over this wall or like ready to come over this wall. Like he could get a four man flash Q or flash W into this situation. Like imagine if he just goes over the wall and like flash W's with ultimate on and then double Q's and then like ulties and shit. And then like Brahm's like ulting on top of that. Zach's like coming over the wall, like eating in here to like get all the, like this would be a, an, like an annihilation. Like this would actually be a, a great fight for them. You'd have like Ezra ultimate over on this too, like problem here is they're they're relying on zach to do the engage for him it's not about taking distance from zoe it's about his concept of how this fight gets started is incorrect they're basically relying on zach to be the primary engage when like actually in this situation riven is the primary engage and zach and all these other champions are the secondary that's why like, he needed to be over this wall or to be like going over through here and, like, Riven has E. It's, like, not like he's going to get hit by a Zoe bubble. And he has Flash, too. I don't know. I think I think someday could have hard carried that fight. And he has, like, he's a tank build, too. So it's not like, not like he's going to get blown up. I don't know. And it's not like Victor can do anything there anyways. Like, I feel like someday could have just, like destroyed the game in that in that particular team fight but he did he like i don't think that he plays i don't think his riven is like good enough to understand how uh, a play is properly set up by riven just but just by judging and looking at how he's playing riven like he doesn't look like an awful riven but i don't think he's like a riven one he's not like viper or somebody like that on riven you know what i mean he's not he doesn't understand or, or like the the key like fight setups and things like that so like, anybody can play Riven and be, like, fed, have the Zac camp you and, like, you know, kill a Rise or whatever that's 0-3. Like, anybody can play like that, I feel like. You know, but it's understanding those, like, big team fight setups from Riven. Like, that's what, when you watch, like, a Riven main play Riven, you're like, that was a four-man flash, like, Q over the wall, like, with a W. You know what I mean? Viper got smacked by Zion Spartan because he got camped in, like, Santorin path like an idiot. That's why, that's why he got smacked. That Zoe. Hmm. So like pretty much, I mean, I think that, I think Zach should just be like trailing the duo mid. And trying to kill Zoe when she E's in. Like, they should be clearing out vision and Zach should be looking for Zoe. As they're trying to get mid-priority. Like, that's, like, how they should play the game. Or they should trail and kill Ryze more. But I don't think they need to do that anymore. Like, Riven can do that on his own. So. This is a Cloud Drake. So this Drake doesn't matter. Ezreal's going back to buy. He has TP, though. Not even that big of a buy. So pretty much, like, the moment they're porting back here, they're just giving up Dragon and doing nothing. Hmm. Riven can't do anything because they all just reset. So I guess they just give Dragon for free. Uh, I think Zach should be trying to play off visioning. Like, if you notice, Zoe's like been eating in a lot or ulting in a lot. I think that Zach can like look to do something off of that and like get her when she's jumping in. But they can't do that while Victor's pushing the wave. Zach's doing double golems. He pushed the wave. Yeah, like basically nobody's doing anything in this game. Like, 
I don't know. It's, like Thunder Thieves had the team fight set up to like win earlier, and they just didn't take it. It's like what what are they even doing? Like, so basically, the Victor keeps pushing side lane, and now they have this Void Staff Rise matching him. I mean, they just need to make a play in the side lane, or they need to try to Zack jump on Zoe when she R's in. Like, that's pretty much like how you play the ha, game. Ha 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 Cooler, thanks for the 52 months. Welcome back, friend. The classic do nothing. Yeah, here it is. I mean, he's just trying to. Yeah, Zack needs to go on whoever's mid. So they go on Hauntzer. They miss the ultimate. They do kill him, though. This is good. Oh. Riven's pushing. Do they have a ward to TP too? No, they did not. Fine. Buy time for Riven. They used uh, Zack Flash for that, though, but they also got Rise Flash. The zero four power spike. That, that's the the life of Rise Top, man. That that champion just feeds a lot. So dragons up. So let's see if they can actually... I think that they can still set up the play here. Like, they have a target they can go on. They have Flashless Rise. Riven's actually in a flank position this time. Wait, hold up a second here. Whoa, Afro Moo. Whoa, Afro Moo. Yeah, he just lost all his life. That's brutal. So he, once they that poke hits, they can't they can't contest that anymore. That's unfortunate. That's just the uh, Zoe man with Def Cap and Void Staff. Yeah, I mean that Zoe is disgusting. Fetch. He has. Two Infernal Drakes and Death Cap Void Staff Ludens at 31 minutes. Like, this. That's always gonna, like, one shot you. You're fucking just gonna die. She is so fed. I don't really know how 100 Thieves can fight that, to be honest. But, to be, to be honest, like. I think the problem is the Victor against the Zoe matchup, which just seems bad. If you saw even in the TSM versus C9 game, like, the matchup looked exactly the same. Where it looks like the the victor can't do anything and they just kind of get shit on. I don't know why people are playing this matchup like as a counterpick. I feel like there has to be better counterpicks out there. I guess they're just playing for victor scaling. Oh, the insta blob. How does the Ole get caught here? Ole's trying to flank. Wait, why is he trying to flank when Rise isn't even there? Like, look where Rise is, and then watch Ole here. So he sees him here, right? He sees who he... He could actually turn around right here. But then he combos. And he just dies. And, like, they know Rise isn't there either. Dude, fucking NA is so bad. That is actually just bad. Oh, Lucian almost... Wait. Riven 1v2 kills Hauntzer and then gets out. Can he just TP in and they just start Baron now? Uh, Can't they just, like... Can they start the Baron? They have no Infernal Drakes. They don't have any armor either. Like, Zack hasn't built any armor. This is good pokes that they're looking for, though. Like, basically, Riven doesn't... Oh, wait, they just kill him for free. Yeah. Wait. So they killed the person with wards. Can't they just, like, poke out whoever comes in to check the vision? Do you see 9 versus CSM? already did. I mean, you can't really start Baron while Zoe is, like, up. It's kind of hard. Wait, why are they going to the Elder here? Just take the trade. What? Wait, what? Just do the Baron. What? Why do they go back here to contest this? 
Just take the Baron for the Elder, what? What? Huh. Yeah, I feel so tilted by Sunday. I was like, guys, I just 1v2 killed the top laner and got the Lucian calling and made it out alive, guys. And they're like, it's all right. We lost the Baron and Elder. I mean, I don't think that Golden Guardians can siege 100 Thieves even with Elder Drake. Victor will just E the wave and it just dies instantly. And they have Ezreal. Hmm. And they just lose the game, right? Like the game's over? They just lose off that, right? Oh, there's another elder. Oh, there's another one. I mean, they've already fucked the game by giving the Baron and the elder. Like the game's over, like now. Like I don't know how they can do anything now. Like when you give up that many objectives and don't do anything. Like pretty much like hundred thieves just didn't do anything this game. I don't know, man. That's it. I'm done with this game. I hate the pick ban. I hate. I hate the. Uh, I hate the way they play. I'm gonna play auto chess. We've seen enough chat. We've seen enough. That's it. That's it for today. Play a league game? Hell no. I, I pulled up somebody's stream before I turned on my stream today. I was like, I wonder how challenger games look right now. I saw they had two platinum players on their team in a challenger game, and it was just like... <sighs> nope. It's not the right time to play league again.